Hi, Maxine. How are you going? Whereabouts are you? It's been as hot. It's been 37 today here in Kerrang. Where are you watching from, Maxine? <coughs> Okay, I might um, get started because it's a warm night and I just want to do a bit of relaxing. So as I've advertised, I'm going to do a baby card. One of my ladies said to me the other day, we don't have much Christmas, uh, much um, in the way of, to, of stamps how to make a baby card. And I, I said, I immediately thought of this one. I said, oh, what about Wildly Happy? This lady doesn't have many that many stamp sets. And then I was cruising the internet and I, I discovered this. So I'm going to do one with that. And I'm going to use um, uh, these two for the sentiment. So you've got your hello baby in there and your congratulations in there. And I'm also going to be using, I have done most of my die cutting. The Stitch So Sweetly dies, which are these ones. I just need to die cut the little, um, what's it called? Hello Baby one. And we'll get going. So, a little bit of embossing. And, is anybody else here? Hi Rhonda, how are you going? Rosedale, 26. Whereabouts is Rosedale, love? I'm not familiar with that one. that I need. Now where's my bone folder? Okay. So this is just a normal half a card front. I just cut in half and I'm using Whisper White Thick just because it's the card base and if people want to, the Whisper White, the normal one, is a little bit thin. If people want to sit it and um, on their mantle and display it it sort of doesn't sit up the white one the normal whisper white doesn't sit up very well I don't feel now grab my little trusty duster be the last drawer that I look in won't it it should have, should have had that round the right way never mind got there in the end we're going to use the stocking. I'm going to do some silver embossing. Just turn that round the other way. that again but let's just let's just clean it anyway with my well used chamois wouldn't believe that was purple to start off with would you like light, light mauve <laughs> it's had a lot of use and it still works so that's the main thing hopefully this won't go everywhere because we need the air conditioner on tonight Definitely. I've got both on. It's a little bit cool in the lounge room, but um, I didn't really want to switch it off. Now, I think I've left my paintbrush in the other room. What have I got to kick that little piece there off with? Maybe that. If you can see that. Yep, yeah, that got rid of it. Yeah, 
else is joining us? Hi, Andra. How are you going? Oh, Sale, is it Rhonda? Okay. And hi, Sharon and Margaret Griffith and Mark Clements. It can do. Mark, I just had that conversation with Sharon the other day. It can go. Oops, I nearly knocked my trimmer off the table. That wouldn't be good, would it? Yeah, I've got it. Got that stuck. Never mind, we'll unstick that later. I was going to have one of these done. I thought, oh, well, they're pretty quick, so I'll just... And this is petal pink that I'm... The dark petal pink that I'm colouring this with. So it's fairly quick. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to basically leave it white and do the top and the heel and the toe with the petal pink. And then fussy cut it out and I'll go over it with my wink of Stella and I saw now what was her name Sandra's stamping studio um, what attracted me to her her um, oh, I couldn't really it was hard to find who she actually is she's got, got a YouTube um, Station and she's on Pinterest but I couldn't really find her on a blog so I don't I couldn't well I couldn't find a name so anyway if you google Sandra's stamping studio if you're interested because she had a great little tip that I'm using tonight you probably won't be able to see that it makes that much difference I'm not sure whether it does or not but I just thought I'd pass it on miss it's easy to miss those little parts in the corner there which I've done here my light is not good okay that's that done so what I'll just show you what Sandra said now, I don't know whether mine weren't empty enough but I guess you all know I'll show you on a on a full one because I've just filled that both of these up. What she did was, um, just show you on this one. This is a normal one. So when you unscrew, you probably all know this. I'm going to be able to unscrew it now. Goodness. Unscrew. I've told you before that you can fill this, fill the barrel barrel up with um, icicle, rubbing alcohol. So you've got to take this, I don't want to get it all over my fingers, so I'm not going to. The first time you take it out, you probably need something to prise it open. I don't know whether I've filled this one up or not. And it's got a barrel in it. You've got to be careful not to fill it up too much. I had both of the other ones out yesterday. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get. Oh yeah, I can. So this is what you're, this is what you will remove and then if you just want to prolong the life of your Wink of Stella normally, you would just fill it up. Don't fill it right up to the top or when you put this back in it'll all flow out. Ask me how I know. So you'll put your rubbing alcohol in there and then pop it back and give it and put the lid on and give it a good shake. But that's my normal one, okay? But what Sandra suggested that she had done was one of them that was empty she filled not only with the rubbing alcohol 
but she filled with the champagne shimmer paint. Oh, I went to grab that out because I could see what I was, and one of them with the frost white, and she's put the name on there. So I did the same. I'm not sure whether you can tell a lot of difference. I don't know whether I haven't got enough um, paint in it or not. I'm just going to squeeze that so that it comes down because I don't want a big, I don't want a big blob of. That's what I didn't want. Okay, so I've got that out. I don't want that. So yeah, oh, it looks um. I know I've got the right name, so I was going to say it looks, it looks a bit champagne-y, this one. But it's not because I, yeah, it does come out differently. I've been using it with the other one that I've done, and I'll show you that in a second. And it didn't actually make a lot of difference, so maybe I didn't shake it up well enough. I'm not sure. Oh, that one's changed the colour, that one. I oh, know, it's just the light that I had in it. So you can see how shimmery that is. Gorgeous. Just a little bit more shimmer than your normal Wink of Stella. And who doesn't love shimmer? I know we all do. That's probably a bit too shimmery, but anyway, we'll leave that. So I just give those a couple of seconds to dry and we'll um, get our other bits and pieces together. So just going to put, this is, uh, did I bring that out? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> this is the Subtles designer series paper so you get I think it's four sheets of each color in there and I should have showed you before and I'm not actually using a piece out of there but one of the other samples I've got to show you I've, I've used the playing with patterns DSP because oh, I've used this piece and even though it doesn't say that it's got pink you can see they're probably not on that, but probably on the cardstock. It's actually Calypso Coral, but if you put that, pair that with that, I reckon that's pretty close to Petal Pink, so you can get away with it. So that's what I've used for my baby girl one. And I think we'll go, I think we'll go the dotty side. Now I've had that laying down, it's not gonna work, oh yes it is. I've taken to using this wet glue for most of my um, layering lately. I don't know why, just finding it easier. That's about right. And then what did I do? Sure, I've got the glue on the right side. You could, of course, pop this up if you wanted to. I chose not to because there's enough, I felt there's enough thickness in the card anyway. Um, now, we want, we want that on there as well. Um, and we'll stamp the inside. What did I put on the inside? Just congratulations, and I put a piece of um, the paper. We might we might do the congratulations first, just in case we have a boo boo, and we can do our hello baby as well. Hopefully get that straight. Yep, it's pretty good. Line your paper up on your grid paper. Oh, 
Oh, I need it for my envelope as well. I decided I would just pop congratulations on the envelope. You could do the... I might do that Hello Baby again. It doesn't come out very dark. That's better. Let's clean those. While that's drying a little bit, not that things will take long to dry tonight. And I want to tie a bow as well. Which sometimes is tricky. Now I could change the colour of this, but I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to. Let me see. No, because it's going to go up there and I don't want it to be all pink, do I? I have a pink explosion. Twisted that. Goodness, I don't know what I did there. Can't have the bow too big with this crinkly ribbon. It doesn't sit properly. It doesn't for me anyway. There we go. I'll snip that off when we're done. Um, I'm going to see if that's dry. Yeah, didn't think it'd take long. Gotta fussy cut those out. Got a lovely phone call from my lovely Auntie Norma this morning telling me that she's just so grateful that I, well, I tried to gift her some cards, but she wouldn't let me. She paid for them. But that wasn't my idea originally. <laughs> they were a gift. Um, yeah, she said that um, the children, her grandchildren, great-grandchildren were going on a a balloon ride for their birthday on the weekend so she said I looked through your cards and there was one there with a hot air balloon on it it's that retired set and she thought oh how perfect for that for the children for their birthday well there's two of them having a birthday but she's just giving them one card I'm not sure why um, yeah and then she said the other some of the other grandchildren had won awards so and they're going out for Chinese tonight so to make it a little bit special because they've done so well at school so she said oh your cards again some cards and some money or I don't know if she's given them money but anyway the cards and I was going through your cards and Molly loves fish and there was one with a fish tank and fish in it so <laughs> so it's just so lovely to hear someone that really appreciates the cards and she's right usually you know well, you know how many cards I make I'm always making cards um, but usually if you go through your stash you mightn't specifically make it with that person in mind but when I know I do when I go through my cards I think oh that's perfect for that person so yeah I say it's very quick you could um, do it in any color you don't have to emboss it if you don't want to that's your choice now why didn't I want to stick these on first that's a little bit too silvery for me but I might just 
they might just have to go with that now. I actually reckon on this one, I don't know why I couldn't on that one. I'll show you the other one in a minute. I reckon I could put, oh, because I was trying to put the bow in a different spot. I'm going to put the bow up there, so I don't reckon there's any reason why I can't just put the Hello Baby up the top. So long as I don't get it crooked. That would be the only reason, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let me see. It's a bit hard to see on this paper whether I've got it straight or not. No, I can't see. Um, Rounds for some grid paper. Um, I know I've got some in there, just a sec. I know I'm being fussy, but I'll have to die cut it again if I go crooked, won't I? My grid paper? No. Piece. Not necessarily a clean piece, but that doesn't matter. <clears throat> That's the only thing with having this pretty grid paper, you can't see your stamping. That's straight there, so it must be mounted straight. So let's just see, put it on the straight line and see how we go. Perfect. So then that will go there. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. To do a little trick that I like to do when I want to put let's get this off here because it's flying around everywhere when I want to pop things up that I've got things together this is what I do oops not quite no. that's not what I wanted to do I wanted to do That one and then that one on top. And then, oops. I'm not, not thinking very well tonight, am I? Just want to put that. Have most of the stocking showing. I'm trying to get it like I've got done the other one. I didn't have this much trouble because you guys weren't all watching me when I did this yesterday, were you? Now, I wanted to pop them up though, so I just wanted them to stick in one spot. Looks like I've got it now. Okay. Alrighty. So if you join them together, it's easier to put the dimensionals on and have them where you want them, if that makes sense. There's a bit of a lump on that one. We'll leave that one where it is. So this is a great sentiment set. So if you're needing sentiment sets and you're also needing baby stamps, sets. Well, this might be one that you might like to grab. Okay. I could pop that up, but that's quite thick as it is. I'm going to use the wet glue again for that. Put those back in, whoops, those back in there. Oh, 
my ribbon off. Leave a fairly long tail until I decide where it's going to go. She says snipping it off before she checks. Yeah, that can go there. Hi Denise, you requested and I responded, <laughs> this is for you, <laughs> I've got more where they are, these are coming from actually, I actually had so much fun last night, I did, well, last night and yesterday, I think I've done about five different baby cards, so they'll be the next I may even get another video in before Tuesday, before the sale, so you can see, just give you some examples of what you can do with these sets. Now, as you know, I like to put a glue dot and as well as a little bit of multi-purpose to stop it from coming off. Um, where do I put that one? Up there. You can't see the other one, can you? And I don't need that. Where did I put my decorations? Hmm. I did have them here. Oh, upside down. Upside down, here we are. So we might use the petal pink. I just love these, they're just so delicate. Use some bigger ones. I find the bigger ones harder to use. So when I can, I like to use them. That doesn't look too bad on there, does it? Seeing as I've got a stack of big ones and hardly any little ones left. But they don't look huge on there, they're good. Alright, so that's that done. And what else we gotta do? Gotta just put our DSP here. You could do some, I'm just being a bit quick tonight, you could do um the stockings but then you'd have to I don't like how they don't make these grid lines straight across if you know what I mean but they've got oh, now I've got glue on my finger and it's stuck to there so they don't they don't match up exactly right when you're trying to line things up you've got to push it over to the other side anyway I suppose that's not too much to sook about, is it? Should be sandboxing it, shouldn't I? Okay, so there's your little baby card all done. Even with embossing and everything, it didn't take that long at all, half an hour. Once you've got everything cut out, I guess. How cute is that? And then we've got our envelope just with congratulations, like we've got on the inside. You could decorate the envelope as well if you wanted to. And here's my other boy one, or that could be for a girl as well, which I've also used the frost white on. You probably can't really see that. So anyway, give that a try. want to put my stamp on the back of that so I won't put that in the bag yet and I want to take a photo okay now next oh now I just want to show you so normally you the reason I bought this stamp set I'll just grab it back again where are we was really because of this sentiment we've had it before but of course that's 
retired, so I shouldn't be using it in my demonstration. So it is the season. I love that sentiment. I love this too. And it's got a beautiful Merry Christmas, which I've used here. And I've used the little tag with the same idea of the colouring. I've used red and I've used light granny apple because this is paper sass here and it kind of matches. And I've used the champagne shimmer in my Wink of Stella, if you can see that. So, and it's got little, little bits of um, greenery. It's got little holly. It's a great little set. there and then we have oh where's my card base oh here it is <laughs> right here Let's pop my ribbon scissors away Find my bone holder again. We'll do this. This is thick whisper white again. I'm using probably the same layout, so you can just change what you put, what you're using, and it'll look different. I will change your paper, and it's going to look different too. So with this one going to use the Stamparatus and I am going to use the Wildly Happy stamp set. So I've already pre-cut my my um, scallop square and you can see I die cut it crooked so I've had to spend a bit of time lining up and making sure that's all good to go. The reason I'm doing that is because sometimes if you have your stamps over to the edge you can't sort of stamp properly so I just thought well to save all that and not having it stamped I will just cut my piece out or sacrifice a piece of I think this is with thick whisper white yeah sacrifice a piece of that and um, do it this way so we're going to have a blue elephant and a blue sentiment might go again because that's very pale. This is Seaside Spray. And the reason I wanted to use that is because I've got a ton of that Seaside Spray ribbon that we've had for the last two years. It's gorgeous but I've um, hardly used it so I need to get using, using up my products. Just clean that off everyone can see properly and if I need to push that over a bit do I? Am I in the, in the frame properly? Maybe, I'll, maybe I need to go this way do I? Oh hello Denise. Denise Zam, how do you say that? Zam Bogner is it? I've got two Denises here. And hi Belinda. Hi Myrtle. Hi Elaine. I don't know. Oh, hi Diane. Hi Rosie. And Kathy. And Joslard. And Maria. And Noreen. I think I've got everybody else. Oh, thanks everyone. I think, is that better? I think I was a bit out of um, screen there. Just going to have a look at my other card to see what I did. So it's basically the same. And I like, I don't know about you, but I like, that one's really empty, I think. Is it, or is that the one I was using? That is the one I was using. I did bring another one, because I was a bit frightened that that would be nearly empty, and I think it is. Don't last long, do they? Well, they probably do. I just have used it, and used it, and used it. At least you know your car, your layers aren't going to come off when you use this stuff. Now, better have the words up the right way, hadn't I? And this is um, some retired because I didn't have any current. Now, how bad is that? I didn't have any current of this year's. Um, 
in colour designer series paper. I, I should need to have a better look. I'm sh pretty sure I didn't. I couldn't find it anyway. So, but well, this will same colour. It's just a different. This year's has got the has got capital capital letters. Making sure that's the right way too. Hasn't got script. It's got capital letters writing. So it's still writing. I actually prefer this kind of writing too. If I was being honest. Anyway, I guess they can't have the same every year. They've got to make us buy new stuff every year, don't they? <laughs> Me and you. No, you don't need to. You can keep your stash. I've got quite a bit of designer series paper in my stash, which is good for classes anyway, because I can save the previous years. And actually did. I did a different design on my other one, so I'm just winging this and hoping that yeah, it might, oh, so it might be empty, but I might get enough out. And I didn't. You could do this in Memento, and you could colour it in if you wished. I just thought for a quick card. I might finish my stamping. Um, what did I put? I did put the I put Hello Baby inside, and I did the elephant. So I might grab the elephant. Or on the other one, I've done the rabbits. So I might grab the elephant off because we're finished with him, and we'll put him on the inside and on the envelope. stamping there and I can't see <laughs> whether it's coming out or not. Yeah, that's good. It's only very faint. I might need to re-ink my pad. So we'll pop that there. And I think we want congratulations always say congratulations when someone's had a baby, don't we? Hopefully I got the pink off it. I think I did, yep. Had a bit of a panic moment then, thinking, did I clean that? <laughs> and that's probably not perfectly straight, but you know what? What we got do we say, girls? The blind man be good to see it. Stick that in. Really getting the most out of this, aren't I? I, I need to give that a good press too. I don't think it's stuck very well. Mm, that looks a bit plain, doesn't it? Probably should have done some sponging around there, never mind. Now, no, I'm not using that ribbon. I want, I might put the ribbon on first, so I don't want to put the ribbon and then put, put the um, embellishments and then put the ribbon over the top of them. Because the ribbon will only go on one spot, I think. Pretty good. That was easier to tie. Love this stuff. It's kind of sparkly, gorgeous. Now, where do we want the ribbon? This one, I've got it down there. Hmm. I think it might have to go down there. I'll put it up there, it'll hide. Oh, I could put it up there. I didn't throw it away. Yeah, I might put it up there. 
it's not hiding anything then is it grab my little my little old um, pick up tool bit of this as well. Yep, that's all I want. And yes, you've got to get this in the right spot because you can't move it once you put that wet glue on it. There we go. This is probably a bit plainer than my other one. Um, there's my pick tool. And I thought these, yeah, they go all right. These ones, these, um, I can't remember what they're called. They're in the Christmas catalogue though. I haven't got many left and I thought, well, I may as well use those up. Because the Christmas catalogue will be finishing soon. Just trying to see, they're so shiny, I'm trying to see there's another size. Again, I t t tend to use the smaller ones, as you can see, before I use the large ones. And then I end up with all the large ones left, don't I? You're not picking up on for me, are you? There we go. Well, oh, he's an elephant, so he needs large ones, doesn't he? So there's that. So there's that one. I guess I could... Let's do something. Let's colour. I don't think I did with my rabbits. Let's colour. Is that my frost white? Yep. Let's colour the elephant. Not too much. I don't want a heap. With the frost white. Just to give him a bit of some special shimmer. I have to put it up in the light to see whether I've got there or not. My light is really bad at night. There's something I don't want in there, a little bug or something. If I squeeze too much, <laughs> that's what happens. Comes out too much. Oh, whoa, I didn't want that much. Gonna have to have that much now to even it all up, aren't I? Show you my little bunny one in a minute. I've used the picker patterns paper with it. Just gonna see what I've got going on here. Get his legs, just make sure he's all even before it dries. That looks better, not quite so plain now, is he? Make sure his legs are done. Oh, he looks nice and sparkly. I could probably do the same with my rabbit. I don't know whether I did. Oh, no, I didn't do my rabbit. So there's my rabbit one with the picker patterns. With So this would be for a little baby girl. And as I didn't think to do this one with the frost white, we'll do that now. Like I said, you could colour this in. You could colour the whole rabbit pink. Or you could stamp it on your... Um, Design a series paper and cut a fussy cut it out. There's lots of ways to add colour to these gorgeous images. So in this one, as far as I'm aware, will be in the sale next Tuesday. So it's not listed as not being in the sale, so I'm guessing it will be. Did you all get your email? Those that have got emails, email addresses. Yeah, let's go 
going to be, I think it's next, yeah, it is Tuesday. It's going to be a 24 hour sale. So, there you go. There is those two. Who said I love this card? <laughs> Margaret Griffith. Alice Prince, are your favourite? <laughs> Okay, so there's our two cards. I'm trying to catch them in the light so you can see them properly. What do you think? Oh, I've not put that in the bag just yet, had I? i to leave it to dry for a minute or two. All right, so thanks everyone for watching. And oh, I won't, I know I won't be back next Friday. I have something on. So I will endeavour to get, get online and um, show you the other baby cards I've made in between now and Tuesday, hopefully. So um, just watch out for me to be back. It won't be tomorrow because I'm busy tomorrow as well. It may be Sunday 